Hello everybody, my name is Deva the Jester, and today I'm going to be telling you about five incredibly immersive PS4 mods. Let's get right into it, because I hate long intros. Let's get going then. The first mod is called the Great City Mini Cities. What this mod is going to do is it's going to take all the little towns and turn them into tiny, tiny cities, making them look a lot more complex and adding a lot more buildings. Some of the towns will have some personalized buildings depending on where they are and their personality and overall vibe of the town. This mod will try to match the vibe of the town and will always add a keep to each and every town just to make it look like an actual tiny city. This will also add a couple of new guards, new guard stations, and a few new guard patterns to make them walk um, from one place to another just to keep their guard posts secure. And there will always be a keep, and this is actually the inside of the keep. This is for Rorik's Stab. We're about to go check out Falkreath in a second. This mod is absolutely awesome. It adds a shit ton of new buildings to explore, and it makes everything a lot more personalized, which is something that I really enjoy. Especially for an immersive playthrough, you really do like these types of mods because they just add a lot more flair to your gameplay. I see they expanded the keep quite a lot for uh, Valkyrie. Let's go take a look inside. So this is what the inside of the keep looks like, and this is not just for Valkyrie. This is for basically every town. It makes everything a lot more personal. I swear to God, if you guys keep moving me during my camera angles, I'm gonna throw you all off of High Hrothgar. <laughs> Overall, 10 out of 10 mod, especially for Immersion, really really like it, just makes everything a lot better, a lot more personalized, a lot more flair, and this is for every single town except for Riverwood. So this includes Falkreath, Rorikstead, Dragon Bridge, uh, Morthal, Dawnstar, Winterhold, all of them, so it's just a really overall great mod. Definitely give it a shot. The next mod is called GT's Gardens of Whiterun. And what this mod is going to do is it's going to add a lot more gardens and make just a lot more plants. Just add a lot more plant life and add a lot more gardens right outside this, like, right outside the... This mod is going to add a lot more gardens right outside the, the Whiterun homes. And just make it a lot more nice. Like, as you can see right here, we've got some, you know, some plants. We've got some butterfly which is very nice yeah what I'm saying is there's a lot of plants a lot of trees a lot of plants and a lot and I mean a lot of grass bushes and all these other things making white run look more like a jungle than anything which is honestly not a bad look it doesn't look bad on white run maybe if it was wind helm it would be a lot different and then maybe I'd be like all right yeah that doesn't work but with White Run, it just kind of suits it. I don't know what it is. It just, it just looks a lot nicer when it's a lot more messy and a lot more, you know, unkept for some reason. Yeah, this mod adds a lot of trees, a lot of plants, a lot of different types of plants. So if you're an alchemist, you don't have to go far. You can walk right up here and just take it, which is not a bad idea. So maybe even for alchemists. For the small percent of people that are alchemists, this is a perfect mod for you if you live in Whiterun. And if you just like the scenery like I do, then once again, this is another good choice for Whiterun. And you still don't have shoes on, what the- Anyways, this is a great choice, especially if you're concerned about FPS, because this mod doesn't have any FPS issues whatsoever, which is another great thing that I like about this mod. I am taking this bee in a jar, and all your gold, I don't care who this is, this is all mine now. Ooh, potatoes, thank you. This mod also goes great with a mod called Brown White Run. It's a mod that I use in almost every playthrough, and it makes White Run look a lot more medieval and a lot more primal. Like a lot, and I mean a lot more realistic. Right here is a good example. It, it'll make all the buildings look like this, which is, in my opinion, it just looks better when it's a lot more realistic. Now, let's just say you want a garden. You live in Whiterun or wherever else, and you don't want to install this mod because it adds too much plant life. Well, allow me to introduce you to a mod called A4 Station Magic. What this mod is going to do is it's going to add a chest right by the Elder Gleam tree or Gilder Gleam. I've never been able to get that wording down. 
what this mod is going to do is it's going to allow you to take a plant and plant it yourself so let's just take let's just take epic mushroom let's just take this learn a few of these now this is going to allow you to plant every single plant in the entire game so i'm not going to go down the whole list but it's basically going to allow you to plant stuff so all you're going to do to actually activate this is you're going to take it like this like so you're just going to equip it and then you're going to aim it at the ground and there it is now if you want to destroy it all you got to do is attack it just like the other mod portable tools and there you go tree has been deforested here is the epic mushroom for those of you who are wondering so yeah go absolutely crazy with this mod this, this mod has small trees this mod has small plants big plants medium sized plants it's got plentiful of plants It's okay, you can unsubscribe now if you want to. <laughs> if you want to, of course. Y you, you don't have to. I mean... Why are we still here? The next mod is called Domesticated Wild Horses of Skyrim. And this mod is going to add a bunch of wild horses to Skyrim. And I like this because it also makes them act realistic too. Whenever you get close to them, they'll actually run away. Like an actual horse will. Like an actual wild horse will run away. So they'll actually run away from you until you catch one of them. I don't know for sure if you can tame one of these. I'm actually going to test this right now. So this is just going to add a bunch of random encounters that involve some horses being spawned. Sometimes babies as well, following the pack. And just overall, just, that's it. I think it's really nice to see them walking around. And I think it's really nice to, to just see horses. <laughs> Okay, what's going on over here? Oh my god. Never dull in the land of Skyrim. At least what mods that is. Alright, come over here. You're mine now. Yep. So you can tame one of the wild horses. And jeez, this guy is fast. This guy is fast. All right, let's see. If I get off of him, well, if I get off him, does he still run away? Yeah, he does. All right, so he runs away still, but at least you can ride them. So yeah, that's a cool mod. Very small, very good. Pretty good for FPS. Overall, very immersive. Great mod overall. The final mod is called TGIO Merchant and Gold Changer. What this mod is going to do is it's going to actually make the gold that a merchant has more realistic. So for example, like a Khajiit trader that's on the road and constantly running around in like a nomadic lifestyle is not going to have as much gold as a city blacksmith in solitude, something along those lines. They will cap around 700 gold to 2000 gold each time. So. The Khajiit merchants are more likely to have a lot less than any of the city merchants, making this a lot more realistic so you can't just sell every little bit of stuff you have to just a random dude that's been out like a hermit in the middle of High Hrothgar for forever. He's not going to have, obviously he's not going to have like 2,000 gold if he's a merchant. He's going to have like 7. So that's going to be the realistic gold he's gonna have is seven gold so that's what he's gonna get you know what I mean so yeah any of the outer city guys are not gonna have as much gold as the merchants that work inside the city so that's a good mod as well thank you all so much for watching and as always I'll see you all in the next video peace out yo